Welcome to Eat, Pray, Plan. I'm Rebecca. I'm a wife, a homeschool mom to two adventurous boys, and I plan our lives one sticker at a time. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks that have helped me plan a happy life in hopes that they can help you too. So if you wanna see how I do that, come plan with me. I am so happy that you're here and that you're watching this video. This video has been uh, requested by a few of you via my DMs because I have gotten a few questions regarding why I switched from uh, discs to a ring planner system. So I thought that I would just walk you through uh, my process and why uh, I decided to make the switch. So uh, first, the main reason I think that uh, brought me to discovering how amazing the ring system is, is quarantine really, if I'm being totally honest, because I have been spending way too much time on Instagram and just scrolling, so I stumbled upon uh, a few accounts of uh, people in the planner community who uh, use the hashtag minimal planning. So once I clicked that uh, hashtag, I was done. <laughs> I went down the rabbit hole, I started following people, and I was just really inspired by the minimal planner community. So that is the number one reason really why I decided to try out rings and um, and it was just, you know, um, I had a lot of free time on social media. So if you are new to my channel, you probably don't know, but I have been using a, uh, a disc planner system for a few years. So I've been using the Happy Planner and my main planner used to be uh, the classic size happy planner, which is, um, which is a similar size to what an A5 would be in rings. So this is, you know, this was my planner and I loved it. I loved decorating. I loved, um, the layout of this, of this planner. This is a happy planner and the layout is called a dashboard layout. So I really had no no complaints. I was really happy with it. But then, like I mentioned before, I discovered I discovered rings and I discovered leather covers. So leather neutral covers and I fell in love. So um, so then what I decided to do, I decided to just take a break from my happy planner, my classic happy planner. And then I started using my mini. So my mini happy planner, I, um, I, um, I also used a dashboard layout, but I, I changed a few things from how it originally comes set up, um, from the happy planner. So I switched out the covers. I added a few different dividers. So um, I made it a little bit more my style and more neutral and uh, I purchased this cover. So I purchased, actually, I purchased an A5 uh, Stalogy cover by Moterm. So this was my first kind of like introduction to the leather cover world and I fell in love with the quality of a Moterm cover. I loved the colors and just, it's such a beautiful, soft, and um, uh, I love the pockets. So the, just the configuration of the whole planner worked really well for me. So I, you know, I stayed in my mini, as you can see, I did, you know, I planned my weeks in my mini and I, again, I was really happy. I had no complaints, but the more that I followed the hashtag and I started following some really inspiring people within the minimal planner community. Uh, just to mention a few because there's a lot of people out there. So if you search the hashtag 
minimal planning, uh, minimal planner community, functional planning, uh, you will find some really inspiring accounts. But a few of the people that I started following uh, were, I already followed April, Mom Run Craft, because she was also uh, years ago using a happy planner. So that's how I initially discovered her. But then I discovered Arenthia's account, Planning Happiness, Arel's account, Arlie Plans, uh, Anna's account, Minimalistress, Rana's account, Rana Plans. So just to name a few, I started following them. And what I loved was that they shared really awesome functional tips. So, you know, I just decided, okay, let me give it a shot. So I put my mini aside, but uh, I did make a mistake, a mistake at the beginning. So what I did is I got really excited and I ordered my first purchase for a ring planner was actually a stone Filofax planner. So it was the same exact planner as this one in a personal size, but it was in the color stone, which is this color. And I ordered it from the Filofax store, so the website. And I received it and I was really turned off by the size of the pages because I was used to either using a classic happy planner or a mini happy planner and those pages are more square. Uh, whereas the personal size planner pages are more of a rectangular planner page. So I was a little bit turned off and I'm like, okay, maybe, you know, maybe it's not for me. So I returned it. I returned the stone of this size, but then I kept seeing all these people sharing their amazing planners and uh, the different layouts. And I'm like, okay, Let's give it another shot. So then I decided to go on Amazon and Amazon is great because you get things really quickly and you can return. So if you have Prime, you get free uh, shipping and free returns. So I decided to purchase uh, this pocket size planner. Now the pocket size planner is way smaller than the ring size, than the personal size planner. But the pages for a pocket are uh, square. So this is currently, let me jump ahead. So this is currently my pocket. And as you can see, the pages are square. So I did purchase the, um, the original, uh, pocket size Filofax in black. So it wasn't an overly expensive planner. So I was like, okay, let me give it a try. And I loved the, the, the planner. I had seen it on Instagram. I had seen a few flip throughs and it got here. And as soon as it got here, this is the cutest thing ever, you guys. So the pocket size planner, yes, it doesn't have a lot of room uh, because the rings are small and the pages are small but you can definitely make it work with the right set of inserts. And we're gonna talk about inserts in a little bit, but I, I fell in love with just the cover. So I'm like, I need to make this work. I need to figure out a way to make planning in a pocket size planner functional for me. So then I discovered the world of inserts, of printable inserts, because I knew that there were companies that sold already printed inserts that they could send to you, like Cloth and Paper, who I've been um, supporting, and I'm, I've been, I've been uh, getting their sub boxes since November, so I love them, but I wanted to try out before committing different inserts. So what I did is, I went ahead and I decided to print out a few inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. So this is actually one that I printed out at the beginning and I printed it out in a mini. So I'm sorry, in a pocket size. So it would be this layout, but in this size of paper. So there were a few things that I needed in order to make sure that this new planning system that I was venturing in was gonna work for me. So first obviously was that I needed a layout that would 
uh, that I would be able to use and be able to have all the things that I need in a weekly or in a daily. And then I also needed to make sure that I could decorate the pages because as much as I love, you know, just pen and paper, I need to add a few stickers. So if I wasn't able to decorate and add stickers to the size of the pages, it wasn't going to work out for me. So I printed out a few uh, inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. in pocket size and I tried them out. So I tried out uh, the pocket size planner for, I would say maybe like a month and I really loved it. So I'm like, okay, so if I can make this size of planner work, I can definitely try again with the personal, which is this planner. And the reason why I wanted to try a personal is because obviously you can see there's a huge difference in size. And, um, and I wanted to make sure that as cute as this size is, I wanted to have a planner that could house everything that my classic happy planner uh, had in it because I kind of have figured out my system. So I just needed to uh, kind of transition everything and make it work in a personal size. So, um, so then I decided to purchase <laughs> I told you guys that I went down the rabbit hole very, very quickly. So it quickly escalated from, you know, one planner or trying to switch sizes to having many planners. But, you know, it is what it is. So then um, I purchased this one and this is also a Filofax. And I love Filofax because it is great quality and the price point is not outrageous. So you can definitely get, you know, a budget friendly Filofax if you're trying out a new size because there are beautiful planners out there in the ring system. Like, you know, there's Louis Vuitton, obviously, then there's Giglio, VDS, and there's some other uh, Filofaxes that are a little bit pricier and, um, my unicorn Filofax right now, it is the Croc in Ebony. So it is a black planner uh, in Croc and it's beautiful. So that's my unicorn. But I just, um, I couldn't obviously splurge because I wasn't sure. So I bought this one and I used this one and I loved the size. So again, I also printed out a few uh, printables from different companies and just to name a few that I use and love. So Peanuts Planner Co. I think has to be my favorite shop because I have here a few of the inserts that I have found on her shop. So these are uh, responsibility logs and um, this is for the A5. So it's a bigger size. Then this is the dailies that I use. So then I will make a video on uh, different tips that I have if you are new to rings and things that I have learned being new to this whole planning system. And one of them is how to cut your inserts. So hang tight because that video should come, if not next week, in the following. So I printed out a few different inserts from uh, Peanuts Planner Co. I got a few also from 8 Lotus, which is another, or Infinite Lotus. So, which is another company that I like that has printables and then Simple and Trendy Co, which are these. All these shops, uh, you can find them on Etsy or they have their own website, but I will be sure to link um, everything that I've talked about in the description box below so you can check them out if you're interested. So I decided to invest in, print in printable inserts. And also I... Um, I went ahead and I went on Pinterest and I decided to just look for some um, some cute images that I can use as covers, as dashboards. So again, I didn't want to spend money on a system that I was trying out, but I wanted to make sure that I made it my own and that I gave it my personal touch. So I found a few images from uh, Pinterest and I printed them out in my regular printer. So I don't have any fancy printer. It's just a regular printer. And I've, I've been able to also print vellum. So, um, so then that way I can layer. So I was having, I, I was having a lot of fun being creative with, uh, just setting up the new planners. So, so then I just, uh, needed to 
kind of like uh, figure out how I was going to use these new planners and uh, how I was going to make them work because the another thing that actually was huge in making me take the plunge and just know that I could definitely make a ring planner work was the fact that I did not have to um, I didn't have to open the 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 rings every single time that I that I needed to write on one of my on one of my pages because since one of the things that I loved about disk system is that you could just take the pages in and out so I discovered uh, through someone in the minimal planner community that you can def you can cut little slits and then you can just uh, put your pages in and take them out from your ring planner too without without opening the disc the um, the rings because if you do open the rings a lot it can gap so then that was kind of like the last thing and I'm like okay I can commit to I can commit to this to this new planning system and um, and then I went ahead and I purchased uh, a Moterm personal cover because I had already seen how amazing the quality was and I do like to switch out my covers and uh, for a few reasons because you know I just like to have different options I also don't like to uh, I don't like them to get ruined with a ton of wear so um, I just switched them out you know every month or so so then I purchased this personal Moterm in light uh, gray, which is the one that I am currently using and I am in love. And, you know, I am really happy. I'm really happy with my new planning system. And I, I'm going to be sharing a little bit more. I'll be, I'll be sure to share. I already showed a flip through of this one. I have, I'm also using a pocket. So what's the difference? So let's talk about the sizes. Uh, what's the difference in my system between this one and this one? So this one I use, um, I, I use in my purse. I've used it twice, <laughs> the two times that I've gone out in my purse. And I love it because it's small. I can use it as a wallet also because it has the pocket but I mainly have them set up exactly the same. So here, the, the tabs are the same. I just have a little bit more on this planner because it gives me room for more. And just the, the basic things, like the necessities, the things that I really need to have handy when I'm out. So I'm able to juggle between these two sizes without a problem. And I love both of these planners. So, you know, it was a no-brainer. I've always been a, uh, a multiple planner uh, user, so I have no problem. My brain works well with multiple planners. I can't do a ton, but I can definitely juggle two or three planners. And then um, the last planner, definitely not the least, that I'm going to be using in my ring planner system is an A5 Filofax because I did fall in love with the color. So I loved the color of the of the Filofax, the first one that I received, and uh, I needed a homeschool planner. So I am using this one as my homeschool planner. It's still in the works. I am not done setting it up, uh, but as soon as I'm done, you know that there will be a video for that. So I think that I've touched upon all the reasons or like kind of like the transition and just the steps and stuff. Uh, that led me to this from from uh, a disc planner to now having <laughs> several <laughs> of different sizes. There's definitely uh, more sizes. There's, you know, there's B6 sizes. So I, you know, it, this is these are just the the three sizes that work for me. Um, I will be sharing, uh, like I said, I will be sharing a few tips of things that I did learn in the process. If you are interested in making a switch or just uh, learning a little bit more about rings. But yeah, I mean, I'm having a lot of fun. And again, planning uh, for me, it's fun. Um, obviously, it helps me get things done. 
but it is definitely something that makes me happy and having different planners and just experimenting with different things makes me happy and keeps me busy. So I think that that's, you know, all the the things that I wanted to touch upon. I don't think I forgot anything, but if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I am happy to help. I am not a, a uh, pro in the ring world at all. I am still learning and, um, and yeah, I will be happy to answer any question that you may have. But um, that's it. This is this is now my collection of ring planners. And yeah, it escalated quickly, but I'm really happy and I'm enjoying sharing this with you guys. OK, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications because I do share uh, new videos every weekend. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate all of you and I will talk to you soon. Have a great one. Bye.